What game? New Polo Grounds open in 1891. Every one of its 15,000 seats filled and the crowd overflowing to the field itself. As good as a box seat was a horse and carriage. Then came the horseless carriage. And it wasn't long before the giants were being brought to work in a style which, to say the least, befitted their standard, after all. They were the champions of 1905. In the early years of the century, the Giants' domination of the National League was almost undisputed. And why not? They had the immortal, Christy Matheson, who pitched three shutouts against the Athletics in the 1905 series. And there was Mr. McGraw, John J. McGraw, the peerless manager who took over the Giants in 1902. He was called Little Napoleon. But even those who felt the sting of his discipline regarded him with respect. Like Frankie Frisch, the Fordham Flash. It's been said that they, and they often say it, and every ball player knew it, you never turn your back on John J. McGraw. But I can recall one time, oh, I did it, and I regretted it. Later on, it happened in Cincinnati, we were having a little set two, and I turned my back and I jumped into the shower, and I guess I was the first guy that took a, a bath before the old gent was finished speaking, and he really let me have it. We got to St. Louis, and boom, I got it again, and we were going to it hot and heavy, and the old Flash jumped the ball club. And that was a long ride back home, all by my lonesome, jumping the Giants. And I've often said, did I do the right thing? Well, I knew I was going to be traded, and I was traded. But I, when I get down the line, I say he was a fair man and a great man to play for, Mr. John J. McGraw. What Frisch did for the Giants was plenty, but Mr. McGraw was a hard man to please. we speak of John J. McGraw, what a man, what a great man. And he taught me many things. And I, when I came right off the campus and I came in here to play with uh, John J. McGraw, I thought I studied languages at Fordham, but I was taught a new language and it was a beauty. But uh, then I think and I think and I think and he, as I played second, before me, he had a second baseman, Larry Durrell, who was a pinhead. I came with the Giants and I was a good old German concrete head. So you just took it and you went through with it and uh, you got used to it, you got hardened to it. But later on, it sort of hit the old flash when he had a couple of bad legs and then we had a little trouble and uh, he would say, a collegian, a collegian. Don't bring me another collegian, I've had enough of. My God, I was only hitting about 340, I didn't know what to expect. 